my dear students and viewers assalamu alaikum welcome back to our online class i am ukshida imam assistant professor department of english government shohit sohrawardi college dhaka my dear students today i am going to conduct a class for you the students of honors first year department of english my dear students you know we are reading the text of studies by francis bacon and today we will read, read the last portion of the essay are you ready to do the class yes then get ready with your textbook marker and uh, sheet okay and open your textbook please and we will uh, start from reading here that is histories make men wise poets witty the mathematics subtle natural philosophy deep moral grave logic and rhetoric able to contend my dear students have you found out the those lines yes then uh, i will uh, try to explain this line for you okay uh, what is uh, francis bacon saying here my dear students that is history mathematics what are the name of those uh, things my dear students you know these are the names of some subjects okay so uh, here you see that uh, francis bacon uh, uh, actually here talks about the various functions of different subjects okay various functions of different subjects my dear students uh, read the line once again yourself okay that is history is make men wise then what is the function of history my dear students here you see that is history is make men wise how yes men gain wisdom by reading history because it records the knowledge and experience of the human race and it presents the wisdom that man has acquired through the ages so history is make men wise and you see uh, this uh, line okay which you are um, reading that is is very much crispy pithy aphoristic and philosophical okay and uh, here Uh, we find uh, that um, the essayist B Francis Bacon uh, talks about the various functions of different subjects. At first, uh, we see that is the function of history. Okay, what does history do, my dear students? Yes, history is make men wise. Then, poets witty. Poets witty. That means uh, poets. That means here we have, can say that poetry. Okay. Then, what is the function of poetry? Yes. and the students uh, poetry develops a man's imagination and ingenuity okay that is uh, uh, poets witty witty here witty uh, refers to what my dear students can you guess yes that is here witty uh, refers to ingenious or imaginative okay so poetry being an exercise of the imagination uh, reading it would increase a man's imaginative and inventive power okay and it's the function of poetry or poets okay then uh, the mathematics subtle then mathematics okay this subject that is what is the function of uh, mathematics yes mathematics uh, subtle that is mathematics makes men subtle that is what is subtle a refined intellect capable of making uh, fine distinctions okay so uh, we can explain this line in this way that is uh, mathematician mathematics makes uh, uh, one's mind keen and subtle okay makes uh, uh, makes uh, one's mind keen and subtle okay and then natural philosophy deep what is the function of natural philosophy yes natural and what uh, what do you mean by natural philosophy my dear students natural philosophy means natural science like physical chemistry okay uh then uh, natural philosophy uh, makes men what my dear students deep okay uh, then uh, natural uh, natural philosophy uh, fosters a serious attitude in a man okay here deep means uh, what that is a serious attitude that is a natural philosophy fosters a serious attitude in a man and uh, then moral grave okay moral that is uh, 
that is uh, moral philosophy fosters a serious attitude in, attitude in a man so we can explain this line in, in this way that is natural philosophy natural philosophy enables a man to go deep into a subject and moral philosophy fosters a serious attitude in a man okay and uh, then logic and rhetoric able to contain logic and rhetoric okay logic here uh, means art of reasoning and argumentation and rhetoric art of persuading and convincing through the use of words or auditory okay so uh, what is the function of uh, logic and rhetoric yes logic and rhetoric develops a man's ability to debate and argue okay able to content that means uh, makes a man uh, logic and rhetoric develops a man's ability to debate and argue okay so uh, here in this line we see that francis bacon uh, says about uh, the functions of different subjects in human life okay that is different kinds of books have uh, different effects on the reader that is history makes a man wise poetry develops man's imagination and ingenuity mathematics makes a man's mind keen and subtle logic and rhetoric develops a man's ability to debate and argue natural philosophy enables a man to go deep into a subject and moral philosophy fosters a serious attitude in a man okay and uh, then uh, go to your text please that is abian studia in moors in bracket you see that is studies pass into the character here we find a latin quotation here bacon uses a latin quotation for us that is uh, what is that latin quotation that is abian studia in moors and uh, the meaning of the uh, this latin quotation is given in bracket that is studies pass into the character so uh, uh, if we want to explain this line okay we can say that is what one studies okay uh, molds his one's character what one studies molds one's character that is a man's character is influenced by what he studies okay uh, the expansion of this line uh, is like that that is a man's character is influenced by what my dear students yes by what he studies okay and uh, you see the next line that is nay there is no stone or impediment in the wheat but may be wrought out by fit studies like as diseases of the more body may have appropriate exercises okay uh, if i want to explain this line that is my students uh, here we can is saying what there is nay there is no stone or impediment in the wind um, in the wheat okay and uh, that is uh, it means here mind and stone obstacles hindrance or disability okay uh, stone or impediment means what obstacles okay obstacles hindrance disability and it uh, means here mind okay here uh, bacon uh, presents a simile okay to suggest the proper way to remove any obstacles on the way of intellect or wit any drawback uh, may be removed by proper studies and uh, bacon has given the examples of diseases here you see that is like as diseases of the body so uh, here uh, you see bacon has given the examples of diseases that is to cure a, uh, diseases a person may have appropriate exercises such as bowling okay uh, here uh, we will see that in the next line that is bowling is good for the stone and brains uh, then shooting for the lungs and breast gentle walking for the stomach riding for the head and the like so uh, here we uh, see that uh, to cure uh, diseases a person may have appropriate exercises that is such as bowling for stone and reins shooting for what shooting shooting is uh, uh, very much beneficial beneficial for lungs and breast okay gentle walking for the stomach riding for what riding for head okay uh, and uh, as there are various diseases uh, there are also various exercises to cure them 
Similarly, there are uh, different modes of studies and a person ought to adopt what suits him. So, you see that every drawback of ability can be removed by proper study. Okay, and uh, that is, you see, Bacon says is a counsel of the shrewd man of the world. Okay, it is based on the personal experiences and observation of man and manners. You see, and uh, you can um, also uh, you, you will see that uh, it is at the uh, sometimes philosophical and re reflected as well as didactic. Okay, his sentences remind us of condensed aphorism too. So uh, here we see that um, Bacon emphasizes that studies cure mental defects such as the appropriate physical exercises cure defects of the body. Um, Bowling is good for the kidneys, okay, that, and shooting is good for the lungs, and walking is good for the digestion, that is a slow mark, okay. And uh, now, we will uh, see, uh, we will uh, read the next line, that is, uh, so, if a man's wit be wandering, let him study the mathematics. For in demonstrations, if his wit be called away never so little, he must begin again. Okay, my dear students, here a very nice line we see that is similarly the study of mathematics is good for wandering minds. What type of minds? Wandering minds. Mathematics is good for uh, whom? Mathematics is good for wandering minds. Why? Uh, yes. Uh, if a man's wit be wandering, that means, if a man is unable to concentrate, then which subject uh, will be suited for him? Yes, to cure this uh, problem, he will be suggested to read mathematics. Okay, uh, that is, uh, uh, so Francis Bacon is saying that uh, if a man should be wondering, let him study the mathematics. Why? That is mathematics, you know. Uh, makes men very uh, very subtle that, that is uh, mathematics makes men subtle so uh, he need to be uh, he need to read he needs to read mathematics uh, okay my dear students why because uh, if he uh, makes any mistake okay he uh, has uh, to do uh, the math once again so so he has to be very much uh, he has to give very much concentration while uh, doing mathematics so uh, bacon here suggests those persons that is uh, who are uh, wandering persons that is if a man is unable to concentrate he has to read mathematics he needs to read mathematics to do mathematics okay and then what is uh, Francis Bacon saying, my dear students, uh, that is, uh, uh, for in demonstrations, if his wit be called away never to so little, he must begin again. Okay. So, here we see that why, uh, what type of people, uh, what types of people should read mathematics and why. Okay. And then go to next line. If his wit be not apt to distinguish or find differences, let him study the school main. My dear students, uh, what do you mean by schoolmen? Who are called school schoolmen? My dear students, do you know? Yes, schoolmen means here. Uh, schoolmen is used here to mean philosophers of the Middle Ages. Okay, schoolmen here suggests those philosophers of uh, suggests the philosophers of the Middle Ages. Okay, and so uh, you see that. Uh, if his wit be not apt to distinguish or find differences, let him study the school main. Okay. So, uh, if a man suffers from a confusion of thought, he should take up the study of scholastic philosophy. He uh, should take up the study of scholastic philosophy for what for their simini sectors okay here simini sectors means hair splitters that is those who make distinctions 
which are normally unnoticeable to a man of ordinary understanding. Okay, simini sectors that is hair splitters. Those who make distinctions which are normally unnoticeable to a man of ordinary understanding. Then go to next line. If he be not apt to beat over matters and to call up one thing to prove and illustrate another, let him study the lawyer's cases. Okay. Then who should read uh, this? Uh, who should study the lawyer's cases? Yes. Then if a man has a weak memory, okay. If a man has a weak memory and cannot call up past events, he should study lawyer's cases and this sharpens his power of memory okay so you see who should read uh, lawyers cases my dear students if a man has a weak memory and cannot call up past events he should study lawyers cases and uh, what is the function of it yes it this sharpens his power of memory uh, so you see there are different modes of studies and a person ought to adopt what suits him so every drawback of ability can be removed by a proper study. So, here uh, the concluding line of this essay is that so every defect of the mind may have a special received. Okay, every defect of the mind may have a special received. That is, thus every mental defect has a suitable remedy in studies so that's all my dear students uh, of the text of, of of studies by francis bacon and we have uh, completed the text today and in our next class my dear students i will give you uh, some important questions uh, from uh, this uh, topic and i will also discuss the answer of those questions too okay so don't miss the next class and now uh, i want to give you homework my dear students get ready to take homework write down the question please uh, it's for your homework that is how can mental defects be remedied by studies okay or uh, this question uh, will be uh, arranged in this way that is what are the different effects of different kinds of uh, books upon the reader or uh, you may ask that is what is the curative power of studies same answer okay but question different but same answer that is uh, write down please how can mental defects be remedied by studies hope all of you will try to do your homework okay my dear students, uh, no more today. See you again in our next class, next class, inshallah. Till then, be happy, okay, and enjoy your days. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Allah Hafiz.